remounting my missed lubrication on my mill. I've recently moved my mill and I made a modification on the other side and I, I had to move the uh, mister to the other side. But every time I uh, do a video that has my mill in it, somebody asks me about missed lubrication. Uh, missed coolant, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I'm uh, going to drill a hole and mount it right here. Uh, but let me show you what's involved here. Okay, here's the mister. It's very simple. It's got an air input and a fluid input. Now some of them have two valves and some of them just have one. In other words, uh, the ones with one is just throttling the air and it creates a siphon. But you can't control the liquid. It's just, it is what it is. And, and I much prefer this kind. So if you buy one of these, be sure and get the kind with two different valves. That way you can turn your air up and have just a little bit of uh, coolant going through it. I'm mounting that on the side of the mill. Uh, but it's it's a, a siphon feed. I mean the air going through this siphons it from here. So you got to have the uh, fluid supply, the coolant, close to the same level as your uh, nozzle. You can have it considerably lower, but it takes a long time for the siphon to pull, the, pull it up. And uh, sometimes if you don't get a good siphon, it, it, it messes up. Anyway, this right here, anything will work. This is what I got. This is just like a uh, three-quart container, four-quart. I just got a little notch in the side and a tube that goes down there. I did have a uh, filter on it. It plugged up. And uh, algae and stuff will grow in this, but it takes a long time. I, about every six months, I'll, I'll dump that out and, and put some fresh in there. It also came with a check valve. Check valve and a filter. Uh, I don't use either one of them. I, I just clean it out whenever I need to. Seems to work better. But they both create a restriction. But it's really very dependable. So I'm going to mount this thing on here. And I'll, I'll show you how it, how it works uh, when I do some milling. Uh, and we'll talk about the pros and cons of flood and versus mist. Here's a trick. The tap wrench I made, I can put an extension on it. If you got an obstruction, you can get to it. Okay, I got it all mounted. I got the air line going to it, and there's my siphon line. I've got the air turned on. Uh, I've got a valve over here I can turn on and off, but you can use this as the air valve. Uh, the air line goes down this tube to about here and creates a siphon at the nozzle. So, see, I'll turn. Turn the fluid off first. Okay, right there we got air. And it doesn't take much. See, this, see it right there? You can probably see it real good there. You don't need near that much. And if you keep the air down, Right there, it's, it's wetting my hand. That's totally adequate. I can mill for 20 minutes and have no more than an ounce or two in my table. And uh, that's not too bad. It's pretty easy to clean up. Okay, I've got the mill set up to do a test cut. And I've already seen where I messed up. Don't do like I did and mount the tank too high. I need to mount the tank another six inches lower. See it dripping? For now I can go like that and it'll quit dripping. I got a siphon going on. Anyway, turn on the air. That right there is more than enough.
got still got moisture here. Okay, that about wraps it up. Uh, but I was going to discuss the difference between flood and mist. Technically, I'm sure the flood is way better. Yeah, maybe not way better, but it's definitely better. It moves the chips out of the way, but this works exceptionally well. Uh, I can mill for 20 minutes and have a couple ounces in my table, and I generally just take a wet dry vac and, and suck it up, and, uh, and you're done. For an occasional milling job, you can't beat it. Uh, the coolant, there's many varieties out there. The one I get uh, costs about $40 a gallon and uh, takes four ounces per gallon. Well, I've never run out. <laughs> I mean, that tank right there, it got about half full. I dumped it out because it had some mold growing in it. Put some new in there. I've done that one time in the last year. So it's extremely economical. Anyway, that about wraps it up, and thanks for joining me.